This is part 2 of the video on how to automate encryption and decryption. And I am doing this video for my fellow math teachers who are teaching mathematics in the modern world. In our subject, we have a part there about cryptology. And it would be a great thing if we can give each of our students a unique ciphertext that they must decode. But that is a huge task. Why so? Because we have a 45 or maybe even more students in a class. The best thing as far as this exercise is concerned is to give each student a unique ciphertext. But that is a lot of job to do. So I am showing to you what I have done. I have this list of ciphertext. So I will show you one example. In the first row, you have the plain text. This one says, Sing, Sing High School Life by Sharon Conetta. So I belong to that generation, to the generation of Sharon Conetta and Gabby Concepcion. And I just feel that this would be a nice undertaking for a student, for the student to sing High School Life and for her classmates or his classmates to listen to the song because our students are just uh, fresh from high school. Maybe they are still sentimental about uh, their high school memories. So here, the plain text is Seeing High School Life by Sharon Conetta. Each of these letters has an equivalent integer number. These are the integers. If you were to do this manually, I'm telling you, you will be discouraged from doing it. It's just a lot to do if you were to do it manually. Now, in the third row, we have the encryption key. So, we will apply the encryption key. The result will be the integers in the third row. And then, of course, again, you will write the equivalent letters for each of those integers. So the string of letters in the last row, this is our ciphertext. So this is my Excel worksheet for this uh, exercise. So the first two rows, the first two rows, what are these? So you cannot just think of any linear congruence equation and think that that will do, that will do us an encryption key. No, that is not how it is. The linear congruence equation that you must use is one where A and 26 are relatively prime. So that means they have no common factor except one. So you have to find which integers among the integers less than 26 starting from one that are relatively prime to 26. You can do it using Excel. You press the equal sign and Excel actually has a function for the greatest common divisor, GCD. Look at that. So GCD, B1, okay, and then 26. And the output is the greatest common divisor. If the GCD is 1, then that is the integer we are looking for. And then what you do is you copy and paste. Which among the integers from 1 to 25 are relatively prime to 26? So those integers are this. 1, okay, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, and 25. So you can use them for your A. For your A. In your congruence equation, y is congruent to ax, a times x plus b, modulo 26. You must produce the equivalent integers for each of those letters. And that is what's shown by this, by this table. a is 1, b is 2, so on and so forth. So what you want to do now is you want to automate that. You want to produce a, a formula so that when the letter is A, automatically, the worksheet will produce number one. 
when the letter is M, you want you want to produce a formula so that the equivalent integer for M will be shown in your worksheet. It's 13. Okay, so I will show you how it looks. It looks something like this. Look at that. This is how you do it. Look at that. Logical test. Write the formula in one cell, copy and paste. If B9 is equal to A, okay, so that is how you write a character. If B9 is equal to A, then 1. And then what do you do next? You continue. If, if B9 is equal to B, letter B, then 2. So on and so forth. So you will do this up to Z. So if B9 is Z, comma, okay, then 0. That will be the equivalent integer for Z. I know. If this is the first time you will do it, I know you will be lost along the way. You will uh, lose count of the parentheses. But I'm telling you, make an effort to produce that formula. Because once you have done this, once you have done this, this will be useful for the rest of the years that you will teach mathematics in the modern world. So for example, recite the poem Desiderata. So that's the plain text. This row is the equivalent integer numbers. This one is the result when I apply the encryption key. This is the encryption key. And then this is the cipher text. Now you must also produce another set of formula to produce the equivalent letters for the integers. You don't want to manually write their equivalent letters. Again, you want Excel to do it through automation. If B13 is equal to 1, then letter A. Okay, so that is how you write letter A. Look at that. If B13 is equal to 2, then, okay, comma, letter B. So I have already produced something like 45, so each of my students will receive a unique ciphertext. So my fellow teachers, I want you to push through with this activity. Once you have done this, once you have produced the formula to produce the string of letters and string of numbers, this will be very useful for the rest of the years that you will teach mathematics in the modern world.